Okay, this is a little trick that's been around since the beginning of the MPC software, but the pad play buttons in sample edit have been changed up a little bit. So to reflect that, I'm gonna create another tutorial on it with the new pad play modes. So what we're gonna be doing here is creating a sustained loop. So to give you for instance, this is the road sample we're gonna work with, and you'll see it ends right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna loop a portion of the end of it to simulate it sustaining where as long as you hold your finger on it, it'll keep playing. So let's jump here to sample edit. I'm just gonna double click on the road sample and you'll see our pad play modes here. The pad play mode we're gonna be using here is A11, play sample note on, okay? And we're also gonna refer to A16 when we need to play the whole sample. So what we do is we turn loop on and we turn loop lock off, okay? So while using A1, I'm gonna put the front of the uh, loop in a position and then I'm gonna pull this back. That way it starts the beginning of the sample and then it starts looping here in the end. And from here, I'm just going to adjust my start and end points of the loop until it starts sounding like it's sustaining. And you could be moving these start and end points while holding down your pad until it sounds perfect. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so that sounds pretty good right there. So here's the original sample without the loop, and here is the sustain sample. So I could sit there and probably tweak the start and end points to even get it to sound better, but it sounds pretty good right now. So at that point, you are done creating your sustain loop, but you still need to turn your sample playback to note on once you assign it to a pad. So let me jump back to main screen here. I'm gonna drag it to a pad. Then I'm going to jump to program edit, tap the pad and put it to note on. And now you'll see, beautiful, right? Put that to 16 level tuning. I can change my pad play to poly and now I can hit chords. So how this is different from previous builds of the software, let me jump back into sample edit mode, is your different play pads before you'd be able to use a blank pad and actually it would play the same as pad A11 does right now, where it plays the beginning of the sample and it goes right into the loop and keeps looping. But now the blank pads do nothing. So when you're creating these sustained loops, you gotta remember to use that pad A11.